Watch post-fight interviews and unaired prelims only on UFC.com. It's one of my many steps in the UFC. Glad it's over. Got my four fights done in the house. It's uh, you know definitely the harder road to make it into the UFC, but it's one of those things. I'm glad I'm you know I'm here. I think I definitely showed to the fans you know that I'm not just the guy that just lays and prays, but you know I'm a fat guy that can actually punch. I can make a mark on my on the heavyweight division, and I feel like I can be very competitive. I'm um, ready to be thrown in with the Lions. I, I wanted him to feel secure, so he would actually open his hands up. Because he wasn't, he was trying to be very uh, tentative. Uh, so it's kind of like what, when I fought Kimbo. Uh, Kimbo did not want to uh, fight me uh, tonight, or you know, fight me in the show. He was very, very tentative. Uh, you, I mean, even watching Kimbo tonight, he's very tentative. If you're not coming at him, he, you know, you got to give him that false sense of like, he's open, he's open. So I had to at least, you know, let him seem like he connected a little bit, you know, then dodge a move and then actually get my clinch, take him down, you know, score some points and then, you know, back up to the feet and then, you know, then of course capitalize on that. Just, I just want to, you know, increase the panic mode. I hit him a couple times with the two, you know, like a jab to the belly, jab to the face, and then two, I hit a couple times. Uh, it just, um, the last one was just like, <laughs> Um, he did not want to get hit anymore. And I could see that, um, like, the last two actually hurt him. So that last one was just as long as it was flush, he just dropped, and that was it. Watch post-fight interviews and unaired prelims only on UFC.com.